we back, we back, we back. This is uh, Whiskey and Kicks unboxing. We got some drinks for y'all. We got a regular <laughs> guest, Joe in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, we got some sneakers to talk about. And uh, we're going we're gonna to sip a little rum today. We're going to take it easy on the... I appreciate that. On the bourbon. <laughs> so, so appreciate that. We, we was, don't want any mishaps. I was starting to get a bad rep out here in these streets. It's looking crazy out here, but uh, it's all good. So I'm going first, right? Yeah, you are So we're going to start off a little light. I got a little something. All right. Here we go again. Here we go with the consortium. Here we go with consortium again. again. We don't yeah. have to go through all the specifics yeah. about the box because the box is dope. And, um,. So yeah, and pull these joints out so we can get this thing popping. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, that ain't too what crazy. What is on the it's bottom of these? Oh yeah, yeah, we'll what get to that. What is on the bottom? This is my first pair of um, Ultra Boost. <laughs> Adidas Ultra Boost. Oh, first um, and foremost. Consortium joints. Put that up there like that so people can see. <laughs> it's, a lot of, it's a lot of nice details in these things. <laughs> this thing. This is uh, this isn't fair. <laughs> it's a nice it's shoe. It's not fair. It's not fair. We I didn't I did not. Yeah. It's so, a really nice shoe. First, the ice bottoms. That's what I. That's why I was like, what is going on here? Because when you pulled them back, the ice bottoms were there. See that the ice bottom. We'll ice zoom bottoms. in on that a little bit. That ice bottom with the um yeah. ultra, with the boost technology up in under between. there. That's dope. You know what I mean? Um, and again with this. You know, I'm 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 a, I'm a dedicated Nike guy, man. With just a few pairs of shell toes here and there, but uh, listen, these soles, man. These soles feel like it's some. These things feel like straight pillows. It is, and I'm just out, pressing it. It's out of control. The boots. I want you to try a pair of boots on, but I don't because I don't want you to copy yeah. my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. So let's get into it here. Let's get First, into so it. what's the sole box thing? Because this little toe, this tab on the toe is with the. Uh, yeah, you see the inside of the. Toe so they're like there. some this like butter leather. And the um, the tab on the back matches that too. With the new buck, so all of this is new buck all uh -huh. around. Mm -hmm. The whole upper. The whole yeah. Tongue, all that, all, all to the that. back, all all new buck. Then there's this extra. Here on the heel, which yeah. is really dope. I should have looked into this whole soul box thing because I really don't know what it is, but it's dope. But they have the soul box here on the bottom, and then they have it again on this tab on the on the tongue. Oh yeah, on the little metal piece. Yeah, on the metal piece with the that's dope, man. Yeah, they're clean, man. That's dope, man. The color, it's kind of like a wheat something. Yeah, this is dope. Yeah, they, they tough, and, um, they, and it's a crazy light. They yeah, feel yeah. like this car. Yeah, dumb light. You would probably like these for tennis, for sure. Yeah, I mess around, spray my ankle or something. You think so? It'd just be so light. Like, you just in your mind, yeah. so it's I'm telling mind. you, yo. It's in my mind. <laughs> you got a thing with the whole sock. Little. And you got a thing with the sock thing. What do we get to the to some, some joints in the end? You got something uh, else some over there. That's, yeah. that's exactly. You, you, well, you got to go crazy These are, These are dope. I, I also like the, um. I don't know if you can, I'll probably put it up that way. I like the way that the shoe looks yeah, the, in terms um, of it. The, the, the pattern? Look, yeah, the, the pattern, the... the kind um, of webby almost. And even the diagonal part of the um, of the lacing yeah. right there at the bottom. That's really dope, man. And how it sits with the sole coming out a little wider than yeah, the sock area. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, dope, that's a dope look, man. They're tough, man. Um, the details you know, on this is really dope. I, I, I agree. You know, Consortium did a good job with these. And um, usually my, my son is big on, on Ultra Boost. And... Um, this like like I said, it's my first pair. I, yeah. I had my eyes on the undefeated ones, but you know I wasn't. I didn't feel like chasing after them. And then um, when I saw these, I said, you know what, this is this is. So I can get my get my grout fit on. Yeah. That's what they call it, grout, grout fit. All, all gray. Oh. You got great clothes, great uh, outfits grout called grout fit. fit. Frank Mills put me onto that. Bang, bang. A grout fit. Shout out Frank Mills. <laughs> That's the homie. So again, with the inside, has that consortium on the inner heel. Yeah. 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 Consortium, huh? Consortium is it, man? What Soul are these box. guys doing over here? Soul box on the on the um on the inside on the, the cushion on the All inside. Right. Soul box in there. All right, consortium. Hey, Let's see what man. you're doing. These, not these too are dope. Bad. Not these too are really bad. dope, man. Not too bad. These are gonna cause a problem. And what is this like a, a little chill drink, some sweats? You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these, you, you could definitely get through the fall in these. Yeah. 
No, nah, it's around here. It's DC, yeah. man. We don't really get crazy winter weather like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They all got them all really sprayed dope. up, protected up. So they'll be all right. Those are dope, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, they look details, like that, the soul box details. You know, that's the I like the little heel thing. I think that's that's really, that's, that's I like really them. Dope. I like them. What you got? All right. <laughs> so these are some. Uh, there's a little story to go along with these. I want a story. I like a good story. My daughter, I took my daughter to Howard, I take my daughters to the, to the uh, Howard basketball games because, let's be realistic, everyone has to experience an HBCU basketball game. Indeed, it's not like um, it. And so I took them to the game, my wife drove her car with my oldest daughter in the car with her, I had my youngest daughter and a couple of other, my other little chickadees, and she, she parked in D.C., in the, she found the only dark spot on a side street <laughs> next to a tree. Yeah. My daughter perfect had, scenario. Oh my god! <laughs> my daughter had fashion show practice, uh. and she was she she had these these Air Maxes that were limited edition last fall. She she was wearing them in the fashion show. She had them in fashion show practice. She had a bright pink book bag with all these like uh, spikes hanging out of them. And they left it on the back seat of the of the car on a dark back street parked next to a tree. It's an invitation. It was an invitation. An invitation. And someone accepted the you invitation. You got that right. Bashed in the window, took a book bag and all that. So Who took the, care of your window? Shout out, shout <laughs> out to my guy Jason. Yeah. Big J came through. Just here the other day, yo. Came Still through in the clutch for me. Shout out. Um, <laughs> I, you know what? I was ill prepared to shout out his company. Yeah, you know, we trust we talked about it in the in the, in the okay, Sip with Brocky episode. So, so it's out there. Go back to the Sip with Brocky episode. The guy, <laughs> the guy Jason hooked me up with a new window. Um, hooked my wife up with a new window quicker than my insurance company could do it. Straight Next up. day, couple of hours, fantastic. Did you know he's been doing that for 23 years? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, he's what, vice president of the company too. They, they I mean, that. I found that out on the show. That's that's crazy though. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, he hooked me up, man, and I, and, um, and I was crazy appreciative of it. Nonetheless, um, my daughter had chalked it up. She thought she wasn't gonna get them back, and then the Nike gods decided to re-release these about three weeks ago. Mm. And uh, let's, get him. let's get to them. So we've got the gold uh, Air Max 97s. It's <laughs> so tough, man. God! These are so tough, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you brought green ones here last time. Because you know what's funny? I brought the green 95s the last time. More but they got the. Um, Oh, this one doesn't go all the way around. All the okay, way around. so the 95s had yeah, the bubble yeah, yeah. in the back. This one has it on the side. This is the first yeah. thing that caught my attention again. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. These are I, dope, man. All right, so, all right, so the first thing that caught my attention was the bubble, of course. Let me put this up here so mm -hmm. people can see. And then I like how um, I like how they have the black and white rubber. I like how they bring it all the way up to the to the edge on the bottom with the black and white. And and see that was a That's slight crazy. that was a slight difference in the re-release. Oh, for real? So in the other ones, the whole bottom was black. Oh, yeah, nice. And this was kind of gold. Yeah. Nike. So Nike nice came when they re-released. The slight difference was the black and white under the sole and the red. The, the little red. red I was about to get to that neck. And y'all should have done that with the Dornbeckers, the red uh, Jordan threes. But y'all put my joints back out where everybody can get them just like mine. Yeah. But anyway. That's that's besides the that's point. That's besides the point. But um, yeah, that little red strip in the front is is dope. Oh, it's in the back too, but it doesn't come all the way yeah. out. It, it, with the red stitching on the back tab mm -hmm. too, and the glitter on the max. These joints are tough, son. This is dope. These I, are so I like the I like dope. the dope little piece of the inside of the air bubble. They made that gold in there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see that in there. So it, it's it's a it's a really dope shoe all the way around. It's a really dope sneaker all the way around. I know she man. was happy to get these joints back. She was crazy excited. Did she man. did she did you just pop up with them or? No, nah, as uh, usual she she knew she, she, saw she knew the release date. She hit me up on them and we I I was able to um, scoop them off the uh, the uh, sneakers app. Shout out to Nike on the oh, sneakers yeah, app. Oh yeah, no doubt. And because uh, of her size, she's got that little foot. It was there. It was it was there quite quickly. So um, we picked them up. 
got them delivered to the crib, man. Yeah, these joints is tough, man. With the yeah. red, the red accents. You know, I love red. Red and black. Red and black is one color to me. Yeah. It's <laughs> all, yeah, yeah, it's all. Especially one being the Jordan head when I was a kid. You know, yeah, what I'm yeah, red yeah. and black was just so, was just it. So this is one color to me. So they did. Um, they got a lot of nice touches of the contrast in the shoestrings compared yeah. to the rest of the shoe. Um, it's a nice touch too. And uh, have you ever had a pair of 97s? I have not had a pair of Okay, 97s. I wonder what the comfort is like in these drinks. There's air on all in the bottom yeah. of it. The whole, the whole bottle has air. Yeah, these are tough homes. Yeah, I she's, know she's uh, loving those. She was, she was really excited about them, man. And um, the other ones, like the original ones, had a little, you know, it was a little different because they were special edition. Uh -huh. They had the gold tips on the shoestrings, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I think she was looking at trying to order some the other shoestrings shoe strings, yeah. to get the gold tips on the end. But, you, see, um, you see what happens, man, with sneakerheads when you have kids? Yeah. You see the, the, the details and yeah. stuff, the they, little things that they start they thinking about? They, 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 they understand. They get it. They get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that That would be dope, but they, they dope the way they are. Yeah, man, so she's she's really excited about these. I was happy to get them back for her, you know. Were they a store she, release at all? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. The first the, pair you got online, too? And, the, and let me back up. The dopest part about the first pair we, we didn't get them online. We couldn't find them at all. We stumbled on her size. Someone had returned a pair to Ubique in Georgetown. Oh, okay. And we just happened to walk in Ubique, and they had just returned it like an hour or two earlier. Oh, that's crazy. And they put it out, and Kennedy was like, Let, there her they size, are. Her size. They just happened to be her size. That is Nice. And that's how she got the first ones. Oh, okay. So when they were when they were stolen, she was just the three distraught. Up? They got three. Yeah, they, they got, got three of them on them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm so sitting over here like, wait a minute, someone's doing something. So right it, now. it alternates. So you got the leather here, and then the the first stitch, the first one that goes around. Uh -huh. This one right here that's is three M, M, and these the two up top, the three and, up and top are three M. M too, huh? This is like a this is like a different leather gold. This is like a different bright gold, and then that's gold. And then this right down the center is the 3M, 3M, right? So, yeah. That's what caught my eyes just now. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. I feel safe, like a, like a cross guard is in my house and stuff. <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those tough homes. Tough, tough yeah, drives, that's, man. A, that's a nice car. She's really excited about it. She should be. Yeah. She has, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good look, man. What are we going to get to next, man? You want to um, wanna sip some rum? Let's have at it, man. We'll sip some rum. Shout out. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do today, all right, so what I wanna do today, I have, what was it, six, I have six new bottles of Foursquare um, rum. Foursquare is a super dope and delicious rum out of uh, Barbados. Okay. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And they came out with a new release um, some months ago, a couple months maybe or something like that, mm -hmm. and the hunt was on. Like everybody's trying to find it, but boom, boom, so. I was uh, fortunate enough to get all of the new release, but this, what we're gonna taste today is the older release, 2004, which I had before, mm -hmm. and then just compared to the 2005. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's let's try this 2004 just so you can get a baseline right. of right. what, what you wanna be uh, experiencing today here. Let's see, I'll pick this thing up. Let me, let me go ahead and establish my baseline. Get your water going establish on. Establish my water baseline. This is going to be a small tasting. It's not going to be too much, you know, something too crazy. So, um, I don't have a, a, I don't like my jigger. I need to get another jigger, mm -hmm. but I'll just pour you a half ounce. Let's go with okay, that. Right there. 2004 in the glass. I don't want to waste a drop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Oh, man, that's good. I haven't had rum in, um, yeah, yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. Months because of that that diet thing yeah, I was yeah, on. Yeah, was working on that. You know what I'm saying? Had to had to knock off a few pounds on that camera, boy. Put <laughs> some pounds on you. If you already got them, move even more on you. So um, this is 2004. This is should be 80. Oh no no, this is excuse me. <laughs> you about to get a little something. This is uh, actually a hundred something proof. 
This is foolproof. This, this, this is gasoline. This is, this is uh, 118 proof. What are we doing? 108, this is 118 proof. Sip that a little bit. Just think about that. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty. Uh, rum is beautiful, man. That's pretty good. Rum is beautiful. Now, it's definitely quite. It's stronger in my mouth than it is going down. Maybe because that's how smooth or oh, it's smooth. How sweet, you know? Mm -hmm. it, yeah, uh, yeah. Rum, rum has a you know sugar cane everything. Yeah, the sugar in it makes it. Yeah. Um. So it's not gonna. So it's easy it's to go not down. Gonna burn you so much, but at the yeah. end of the day, it's a hundred. 118 proof that you get that you get that feeling in your mouth like this there's something there and the 2005 is also it's the same yeah it's, it's full proof yeah. also but it's pretty good mm -hmm. <coughs> they do not um unlike a lot of rum distilleries they're not adding sugar or stuff at the end of the process it's not overly sweet it's it's this is pure, this is rum, man. That's why it's sought after uh, after so much. You know what I mean? Some rums you get, and it's like syrupy, super duper yeah. sweet. You know what I mean? And you can tell that they <clears throat> add stuff at the end of the process that's not part of their, you know, and, and that's, the, that's the downside about rum is that it's not as regulated as, you know. So there's, there's a difference to this, and there's, there's, you can taste the difference in the strength in this than like other rums that are I guess you would you know me being a rookie to this you know like the cat um, I hate to compare it to the you know Captain Morgan's or stuff like that but well you know Captain Morgan is respectable they do their thing out here yeah no doubt I'm just purpose. saying I'm saying there's a you can tell the difference in in, oh. the, in the potency oh yeah yeah like yeah, it's, it's this, serious business. Yeah, this is serious business. Like this, I, I could taste that when it when I when I first drank it. Like uh -huh. I can I can taste the um the strength. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you can you feel can, the you strength. Can feel the strength. <laughs> this early. is not uh. Yeah, you're not playing around with this. No, nah, you're not playing around with this. Anymore. However, it was um unlike unlike the the bourbons, which were really. Really, really tough going down. <laughs> As y'all saw him on the last uh, what was it was unboxing, really, really tough going down. Up a storm. It's, this is incredibly smooth, Man, and I would good. drink it again. It's, like it's, I would drink it again by itself. Straight up, that's how you should. You should never mix it. Well, yeah. Look, you drink your booze the way or the however you, you want to drink your booze, but I would never mix this with anything. Okay. Let's go. Now this, this is the, This is my first time having this. The new release. But the, um, they're foolproof. Now, what's the difference? It says 2004, 2005. This right? is the release that came out with before. I'm not sure how many years ago um, this was. But this is the brand new release that came out this year. So, what's the significance of the of the 2004 and the 2005? Was that like that when it was the, bottled? It, I, mean, I, I would have to think that that's when it got barreled. Barreled. That's but I don't barreled. know. I don't okay. know that right. for a fact. But that's what I would guess that it was barreled. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 12, 12 years. So, cast aging for 12 years. Yes, that makes sense. And this one is 11 years, so yep. yeah, makes sense. So Got it. All right, put in the barrel. All right, so this is the um, this is the this is a 2005 drink. Oh, that's good. You can taste um, man, that's there's something different in here. There's something different in this one, right? There's something different in here. I don't know. Woo! It, maybe it's because we already laid that down first, <laughs> but um. <laughs> It's not hitting you as hard. It's it's not so much that it's not hitting me as hard. It's like um, it's like softer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, like, not, yeah. like not as harsh. Like yeah, like, not as harsh. That might be because the, you had that first. Possibly. But it's still smooth. It's super it's smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, and the sweetness. Very I mean, very it's, smooth. It's yeah. not too sweet. Again, you know, you can just yeah. tell. I mean. I, I, you know, I could pour you something else off camera that wouldn't give you the same effect. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like, oh man, I can tell the difference between this. And so, do else. I do with this like I did the last time when Smelling I smell it, really? it with mm -hmm. the mouth open thing? No, not okay. with rum because matter. from what I from what I've read, and anybody watching, correct me on this if I'm if I'm wrong or if the information I got is wrong. But they say when you smell 
um, rum, all you get is alcohol. All you get is alcohol. Yeah, all you get okay. is alcohol. You're not you're not getting the stuff like like bourbon because there's a lot. rye and all that right, right. stuff. Whatever. It's just a difference in I guess how it's distilled. Mm-hmm. That's good rum, man. That's good rum. I'm excited right now, beat people. I'm a big rum guy. I'm whiskey and cakes. Really I'm rum. a huge rum guy. You know That's I mean? pretty stinking good. That's pretty good. Now, it's not for the faint at heart. At all. At all. Let the record I'm reflect. I'm already feeling it. Let the record reflect. <laughs> if this were a winter day, I'd be warm. <laughs> Look, man, it's so, okay if you want to drink your water on camera. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, whether it was okay or not. It was, no doubt. It was getting drunk. Do what you got to do, man. But, uh, Look, I'm gonna go right into the sneakers right now. All right, let's get over here. We got a, uh, we got a little time. So, um, what we're known for in, you know, in in urban areas, in the streets, and so on and so forth, is getting is using a product, um, for the for our fashion or for our purpose, not Absolutely. for the purpose that it was made. Never. So we buy a Range Rover to drive around the streets, even though it's made to climb up mountains. I, and all I that. never took my Range off ever. roading ever. Ever. We buy it. We wear Timberlands year round. Well, you used to at least. I don't wear Timberlands like that anymore. But when I was younger, Timberlands year round. Oh, even though they're that. used, they're used for you know winter, what I'm saying, winter and all that, all that kind of stuff. So this is an Adidas uh, mashup sneaker. With a, a hiking, a hiking are, they, are they bringing those? Because remember, years ago, they Adidas had that. They had the. I don't know. Oh, you <laughs> son of a motherless! Listen. Oh no. So let me tell you about these. I saw these Did online. You, uh, okay. And I meant to text you and tell you. To you know, it's these. all me. I meant this to is tell all you. me. And and I saw them on, and we yourself. ended up. I ended up calling you. But as usual, we end up talking about something completely different because I was like, yo, I wonder how you would feel about the, the tie. I love it. I but love it. I knew, I knew that regardless <laughs> of what was happening here, which we will get into in a second, nothing, nothing could take away from the writing on the, on the soul. The soul. I so, knew it and I meant to hit you up about it. insane. These. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> and I just saw these insane. I just saw these online. They got me unique. I was pissed. I was I was I was talking to the girl, I said, yo, what are y'all doing? <laughs> she was like, what are you talking about? I said, y'all got two pairs of sneakers in here. Because they're, they're black and gray ones too. They got black and gray ones. Black and gray ones. I said, what are y'all, y'all doing to me? Yeah. Yeah. You pulled the joint out. And that's how oh, you loosen up the that. strings. So it's That's how you loosen up the string. And that's how you loosen the string. To, uh, look at that. You know what I'm saying? These are hiking joints or whatever. And uh, these they got boots on the inside on top of it. Stupid. These are sick. <laughs> it's the, for, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of things to it. Number one, it's the, it's all like a, it's the sock situation, except it's, it's a harder material. Yeah, because of what it's used for. Like more like a vinyl material, right? Mm-hmm. So, and I, if I'm not mistaken, this is all 100% weather uh, waterproof. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it, while, it, while it looks like it's mesh and it feels like it's mesh, it's still 100% waterproof. Yeah. Secondly, this tie thing here on the you push it so down, you push it down, push it back in, and then you tighten it up. and look at. No, let me turn it this way. Pull it out. Pull it out. And unloosen it, it. No, you don't even have to turn it when you pull it out. Oh, and then you just do that. Yep. Boom. It unloosens, it allows you to get in the shoe. Let me take that out. <laughs> These sneakers are very exciting. These sneakers are sick. <laughs> it's, it's very exciting. Let me also explain that as an individual with a wide foot, one of the things that happens the most that we're plagued by mm. is our tongue sliding to, to the, the side. Sides, right. Right? So whenever I get sneakers, I'm always concerned with my tongue slipping. <laughs> right. That's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> That's right? A thing. Especially if you're concerned with rocking your tongue on certain <laughs> joints. No doubt. Right? Mm-hmm. However, this tongue is not moving. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. Though. It's not going anywhere. And it's padded. It's very padded. On the back side, the but it's not is, like a thick pad. Listen, the shoe is comfortable, son. 
then you, then you. When I got them in, I walked all around my apartment with them on, so I know they're comfortable. Boom, and so then you tighten. I'm not sure if you can see that, yep. and it tightens up. Bong, biggity, a bong. The red is there, as I like to say, for no good reason. For no good reason whatsoever. There's a red on The red is there for no good reason whatsoever. But let's go back to the white mountaineering Ugh. that's written on the in the soul of that white mountaineering come on <laughs> when i put these on the streets good night period yeah look at that it's a tab on the back a tab on the back mm. with the white mountaineering written around the little uh yeah, i wasn't gonna get into all that you were you were you were you were <laughs> so the oh, and the adidas man. the three stripes this is a dope joint, man. This is a dope, this is a dope joint. And I saw them. Completely gonna be used for something completely out of what it was made for. These things are getting on the street and that's it. They're gonna hike on the street. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, my wife has a Jag, uh, an XF Jaguar. And literally today, at lunch, I was talking to a couple of my coworkers and mm -hmm. we were talking about tires on a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And I told them that I made a mistake the last time of getting a cheaper tire for her Jag and because it's a sports you know, vehicle, a, a, a speedy vehicle, um, I didn't realize how important tires are to luxury vehicles. Yes, sir. And if you get a Michelin or something else and it's supposed to be commensurate to the car, it still doesn't ride the same as the, the tires that the car manufacturer tells you to get. No doubt. We underestimate that. I made the mistake and I had to ride it out. And I said to them, literally at 12 o'clock earlier today, today, which is less than nine hours ago, mm -hmm. that Continental tires are the recommended tire for the Jaguar my wife drives. And these <laughs> sneakers have continental <laughs> rubber, on the, rubber on the bottom of the sneaker, you filthy. That means I'm outside when it's raining. I'm, uh, 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 uh. You know, I'm not slipping. There's no not slipping. There's <laughs> no slipping. Where we going? My cut game is crazy. I'm out of here with these. Wow. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Uh, at least you knew. You knew when you saw these that it had my name written all over. I you knew it, son. And, and and I should I should be on the hook right now for not. But I called you. We ended up talking about something, something else. else. Some and I forgot. Something. Most likely, who knows? Um, ah, uh, these are so dope. <laughs> crazy. These are so crazy, son. Dope, son. The writing on rubber is the biggest thing. And I was like, come, come on. I got nothing else for that. There had to be. Got, a, there had to I be. I got nothing else there, to there, say here. There had to be a 35 year old dude that grew up on hip hop. Easily. That designed these. Things. That remembers. Remember the old Adidas terrains from back in the I day. I do. Yeah. With, a, with a, the um. The sole used to stick a little further out yep. like that. Yep. It used to kind of come out like uh, that uh, on the in, back. In the back up yeah. a little bit. Yep. Yeah, these are. I wonder how they. So, I know you said you walked around the house on the carpet. Did you walk on like nah. the hard surface? Oh, no, no, no. I was in my kitchen. <laughs> I, I wonder how that felt with this. Because um, remember back then. And, and 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 I remember trying to get a pair of the terrains and they had the little the dots, you know what I mean, for the sole. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It felt kinda weird when you uh, stepped. Oh like um yeah, I know what you mean, but no, I didn't get that at least, but I didn't pay attention either though. We also neglected to note the um the sponginess, that's not a word, but the soft part, the heel. Mm-hmm. The, the whole soul is still crazy soft, so it feels like... Son, they did a great job because it's, it's like a hard exterior almost, even though this is soft or whatever, but and the inside is, is crazy soft and comfortable. And I'm going to do something real quick because most of the time on the camera, you guys don't realize when we put the sneakers down, we kind of leave them down there. But I'm going to reach down and grab these Ultra Boosts and point out the bottom of the soul. Uh -huh. Adidas has a good thing going uh -huh. with leaving the soul the Spoiler. rubber part and then exposing the that extra that's crazy yeah which which i'm sure at some point adds to the comfort of the sneaker it does something 
<laughs> Something is happening here, ladies Something's and gentlemen. Something's happening. That's it. I'm a, that's, I'm a, that's I'm a Nike guy, but something is happening something with is these happening. three stripes. And that's how that's going to go. Wow. Man. Those are dope, man. Tough. Those are dope to see. Tough. All right. We're going to go to the next choice in a couple of seconds. Oh, wait. One, one last thing. Oh, one last that? thing. I, I was going to ask what the BOA stood for here on the tab. It's some kind of system. It's a... The BOA, BOA system. Oh, look at that. I don't know if that's just a string. It's just a string. It's just a string. It's just a, right? so, the, so the turn to tighten, quick to release, push to engage, turn to tighten, pull for quick release. So the BOA system is a stringing system. Okay. See, this that's is, what this the is BOA stands This is what we do at an older age. Or at a younger age, you just rip those tags off. Who cares? You don't care what BOA system means or anything because the sneaker is tough and it's going to hit the streets. That's and, it. And, and the way our crew is set up, <laughs> um, someone would have noticed this when they were on foot and you would have needed to be able to stunt on them. Before, before Whiskey and Kicks, we would just show up. We would just show up. <laughs> and then, in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, this conversation would happen at cookouts, at our children's birthday matter. parties, it doesn't matter. at events. We would take the moment to discuss why such dopeness was uh, was put in our presence. And that's how it goes. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Alright, right, what we got then? Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I know what we got. Yeah. So let's let's we got, get to this because we got what I came for. I feel guilty that I got three joints and I get to go last, but listen, really you sir. should be going last with me. Listen, these. sir. These joints here. <laughs> Put a box up there, son. These, these box puppies up. right here. Mm. Right here. <laughs> right here. These things right here. Word. I, I was actually going to bring my other ones, which I forgot to bring on the original. The old joints. The, the old joints. So these, I still own the 2005 original Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. I probably don't, I haven't worn them in years, but I refuse to get rid of them. Were you at Glendon Service Bar? Service Only Bar. Only human being. You killed, you crushed, you made me regret not bringing them on my first episode here. Word. However, Nike and the Nike gods decided that it was time, 13 years later, to uh, release. 13 years, yo. 13 years. Because, yeah, we was in Miami with those. I annihilated Miami with these <laughs> a few times. So, these are nuts. These Easter egg joints. are the now coincidentally, not coincidentally. Let me take that back. They the released people. them what two weeks ago, which is definitely not Easter. However, I am going to slaughter <laughs> this summer. If you know me or if you follow me on Instagram, you know there isn't a sneaker I own that doesn't come with a polo shirt. Look at the options. <laughs> you already, did you already grab a couple of drinks? <laughs> they've already been purchased. I will, I will say that they threw me for a loop. They threw me for a loop here because this isn't yellow. And I thought it was yellow. Yeah. But it's like it's a, a green. It's a, like, um, a, like a minty green. Yeah. Yeah. You have, oh, can I, can I talk? Please, it's so, you, it's you. So, so you, got, you have one, two, um, you have one, two, three, yeah, four different fabrics on Come. the body of this shoe. You have suede in the yep. front. Suede. You have like a canvas on the, on the Absolutely. On the, you have a patent leather here. Pat patent. Patent, patent leather. leather. And then a butter soft, oh. a, a butter soft leather on here. Yeah. These shits are crazy. And this These are tougher than the first ones, huh? Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. They got the the what? Easter egg on the tongue, the Nike which this sign one has. Easter egg on the tongue, open with the Nike sign, and then they have them on the inside of the heel. Uh, the the pink is the suede, the um, patent leather is this teal color. The tongue feels like your grandmother knitted a quilt, yeah, and yeah. put it on a sneaker, and it's puffy. It's, it's like puffy. It's puffy. 
It's an extra padding on the, uh, it's ridiculous. All the way through. Yeah, these are nuts. All the way through. God. They, they, Nike went ahead and added an extra layer on the, um, on the sole, on the insole to make it all, More all cushiony. cushiony. Yeah. Yeah, the whole shoe. And it's off white. So it's not, which. It's not bright white. Which yeah. adds another angle to this because I'm so f disgustingly uh, 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 ridiculous that I own an off-white tuxedo shirt. Oh, that's out of there. That's that will, out of there. That will happen. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph Lauren. That will happen with these. Word. They got, oh yeah, yeah, like a little yeah. canvas around the tongue. The around the tongue. Canvas around the tongue. The details in this, God. with the, and they went with the, um, with the the same minty green colored on, on the, and on the tips of the shoestring. Then they got the mint. They got. A, I mean, yeah. Okay. So the the Nike the um, around the Nike swoosh, it's like a shadow. It's with a the shadow same of green mint. Yeah. The and the Nike the swoosh tip. itself is like an off white, but right. it's off white suede. Right. Which makes it almost look gray. Yep. These are crazy. Nuts, me. Nuts. These are um. These weren't these weren't just store release either, huh? I think I saw them at UB maybe. Probably so. They weren't maybe store release. I know I got them at uh, I got them off this. Um, no, take that back. Shout out to Major because I needed them. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I needed yeah, them yeah. before I went to Atlanta over to, uh, for Carnival and uh, Memorial Day weekend. And they came out Memorial Day weekend, and I was able to slide through and uh, pick up a pair. Shout out to Ducky and Yoon, as usual. As usual. I, I don't even know if I need to keep shouting them out. But it's important to they know are a that staple in they our are, lives. If you see me with a pair of sneakers, <laughs> it's a safe assumption that it came from them, um, unless it's an old release that I found somewhere. This is nuts. I'm very excited about these. Like the color tone, they're not. Um, I mean, I guess they can be considered pastel, right? They, they absolutely are. But they're still deeper. It's richer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like because the other ones are all patent leather, right? Yes, the whole yeah. thing for the for the O5s were all patent leather, so and, I meant, and I should have brought those because we could have compared, compared the joints. Absolutely, the suede, the different fabrics gives it a, a deeper, richer. Yeah, in my opinion, a deeper, richer look. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> and, and and just so everybody knows, we are so true to the unboxing that at work I wear sneakers and jeans and a polo shirt on Fridays. We had to get this in this week because you had to wear it tomorrow. I've been holding <laughs> off on crushing my office to wear tomorrow. with these. That's now, hilarious. I may, I may I may just hold out until next week for my daughter's graduation, but I don't want to take away from the <laughs> students who are graduating in eighth grade Yo. going to high school. Shout out to Morgan. I don't want to take away from that. I don't want to take away oh, from their day. Yeah, that's so hilarious. I may rock these tomorrow. But uh, Cause you gotta take the picture with all the girls, right? You know what I'm saying? If that's in the picture, man, that, that might take shine away. It may take the shine away. They don't deserve that. It's their day. It's their, it's their day. They don't deserve to be yeah, upstaged by the East Bay. The pad leather in the back is crazy. The pad leather is crazy. They killed these joints though. This is, it was dope. It was dope, man. So I'm, I'm very excited about those. You should be. Very excited about those. That's nuts, man. Yeah. That was a great unboxing right there. Yeah. We got one more pair. We got one more joint. I feel guilty. Those should have, those should have been last, man. That's I don't know. Nuts. I'm not. I'm not certain what you're capable of pulling out right now. Well. Exactly. We got something here that I'm pretty excited about. You know, Adidas, uh, I was a big, I'm a big NMD guy. What's going on with this box? Although I only got I'm just looking uh, at yeah, the box. Yeah, they put some, it's a lot of embossing going they on They put there details on the box. On the box. Just like when I, look, when I look at for, for a bottle of liquor, I said, look at this bottle. This is nice. They put this much into the bottle, then maybe, you know, we're on to something here. So, yeah, the, they have the, the um, deboss, yeah. uh, Adidas insignia and the stripes on the box. Pretty nice. Um, I'm an NMD guy. I only have I have three pair of NMDs, mm -hmm. and I, I honestly feel like Adidas kind of lost their way a little bit with the NMD because mm -hmm. they started coming out with too many colorways. They did, and and you know when you come out with too many colors, you're gonna get a higher possibility of trash. 
Right. And I rock with Adidas, but you know, I love a lot of things. Flood, I'm not you flood the street. You, you, you flood you know what I'm saying? So I will I will point out that. But they have, in my opinion, reinvented the NMD in this new racer. Uh S NMD racer. Side note that no, ain't no side notes. It's too late for side notes. I'm talking about the rum showing up, but come on. Oh, the rum is showing up. The rum is showing up. Um, wow. This is the NMD sir. racer that I picked up the other day. There's a lot of dope details about this sneaker, son. So, I called you about the <laughs> NMD racers. And remember, I said they got those NMDs with the things on the side. Mm -hmm. But I said I that saw the, the ones, drinks. the hot pink ones are yep. the ones and I was. And the black ones. Because. Shout out to Major again. Major had them, and I saw them on the on the site. They got like um, pink on, and green. I, on IG, and it was like, yo, I saw the pink joints, and I hit you up. Mm -hmm. And you didn't say anything. <laughs> you well, didn't say anything, I did. Sir. I just got these, though. Okay. I just got these. just came in uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday. Okay. I put them on and just sat in my bed with them for a while. I took pictures and stuff. Just saying. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, son. Listen. Listen, man. When you put these things on, it's... The, it's incredible. So I, I don't even understand. I could. I can't even explain it. What these things feel like when you put them on your foot. It's, it's crazy. So let me let me start Talk with something. About. Let me Talk start with them. something right off the bat. As a again, as a Nike guy, um, you know, the NMD was their was their direct um, response or or. or um, yeah, the direct response to the Hirachi re-release. Right. The difference with the Hirachi, and if anybody bought a pair of Hirachis in the last year or since they came back out, you'll realize that the first time you put the sneaker on, it takes, like, you have to develop a system. You've got to hold the tongue, the back tab, pull the tongue, like, it is a pain in the behind Word. to wear the first few times until you really get that opening and you figure out how to put them on. I haven't had a Rochester since I was a kid. The exact opposite, the other end of the spectrum is happening with these. Straight up. Which is why when I put my hand in just now, I went like that. It just opens it right just up. It just opens right up. And then, you got the tab on the back. But then it comes right back. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it fits my foot like a, like a sock with a sole. There's no inner sole inside of these because this whole thing is just like a cloud right now. It's like one piece, B. This is crazy. It's, it's nuts. These things, this NMD racer is incredible. And I'm gonna have the close up picture so y'all can see it. Wow, the details on this. The details, the details on this are crazy. It's out of control. This is crazy. The colors they splash. So what is this, like gold, silver, yeah, and like, like a bronze? Uh, yeah, like a gray, silver, and like a gold. It's bronze, also inside of the... The translucent, the stripes are translucent. Look on the inside. Stripes are trans... But it's like... It's like, the, it's like gauze. It's like the gauze pad you get at the at the <laughs> right, you know right, right. At, the, at the hospital. Right. That's what they used inside so that it, it still moves with the material. Suede on the back. Suede on the heel. For no reason. For no <laughs> For no godly reason. reason. For no reason. Then this then this like situation. I would just call it a whole Pebbles. situation right here. Like a pebble situation. Yeah. Man. And then again with the soles and the and the, the airing of the um people don't see it when you walk around but they know something's going on. Something's down happening there. down there. Something's the way happening. This guy is so, so again. So with the old MDs you had the tab on the side, yeah. one on the front, and then one on the inside for the R ones and um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and the R twos are different. But this one they put the tab in the back left corner and whatnot and back right corner on the The, on the, the Asian Asian themed writing on the yep. back. Yep. I'm not sure if that's supposed to actually say the brand with the three stripes. Maybe it does. Maybe Cause, it does. Because you know they they came out with those with those uh, with the matching sweatpants and stuff. Yeah. Where it had with the, um, the, the brand the, with the three yeah, 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 down the yeah, side down and all the side, of that. Yeah. yeah. Again, I didn't and, see those joints still out there. Good point. Go ahead. But I don't know if they gathered at the bottom though. Which I have to check and see. Yeah. I gotta have that. Again. Nothing that a tailor can't fix. Oh, this is just true. Let's be realistic. Joe's a tailor master for sure. Everything can be done by a tailor. <laughs> I will say, and again, 
as a and I'm, I repeat it all the time because people don't realize how when you have a wide foot, you are actually excluded from a lot of things. Mm -hmm. If you have a wide foot and you ever attempted to own a pair of Stan Smiths, Forget you have it. severed your pinky toe. Straight up. Period. Until a few years ago, Stan Smith decided to, the to Stan some. Smith to make them wide. So when I see sneakers like this and the toe box you looks see, like you see the shape. The shape looks like it's appealing to a wide foot person. Yeah, you see the shape. You know what I mean? It feels like when you put them on that it's just gonna engulf your foot. I dare you to go try on a pair. I'm not even gonna lie to you, son. I dare you to. This whole thing, this is this, dope, man. The this comfort is, dope, is man. out of this world. And, and style. And just the little detailing, like the way, I'm, I, and obviously you'll, you'll put the, the close up after. The way the, um, the, the, I don't know what these little stripe things are that, that just come up and then they just stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They stop, but then they start again, but they yeah. create a different the contrast. The contrast on the toe air, the toe, what would be the toe box. Yeah. So they, they in essence made a, I, I would grab those again, but they in essence made a toe box area right here as if it were a sneaker. Yeah, because they, a, it's kind of like they had, like, it's, it's acting like it's supposed to be a tongue here. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it kind of gives you that feel. Because, you know, uh, like Balenciaga, yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. coming out Everybody with those, to do that the now. one whole sock situation and yeah. whatnot. And so if they made it all one design, it'll look more like that. But this, it makes it look like more like a sneaker. Yeah. It has shoestrings there, again, for no reason. For no reason. <laughs> there's, there's, there's never a justifiable reason to use these shoestrings. Uh, if you have these sneakers and you're tying them, you could, you could shame on them. you. Yeah, shame on straight you. Straight up. Why, what, what are you tying those for? for? What are you tying it's it's for? all a sock. What yeah. are you tying them for? These are dope, man. They're dope. These are dope, man. I'm very excited oh, about these. look at that. Energy. I didn't see that on the back heel. The, the tan stitching across the back, yeah. Oh, and a, yeah. A, a, up here on the sock uh, yeah. yeah, 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 they got a little different color right there. That's dope. They, they add, they splash they, they colors. They splash little things they around here, man. In these joints. They're tough, man, I love them. I ain't gonna say a lot to you on me. Stand by. Oh, uh, what we got? There's Ooh. another texture. There's another texture. Right above this new buck here, this little oh, white yeah, texture yeah. area. It's like a hard, like a like a rubbery thing almost. Yeah, but it it almost it it also. Oh, so uh, the texture is actually in the fabric that, underneath. In the fabric underneath. Oh. I wonder if that's the same. It's, it it almost feels like that's the same texture as the. Sh no, no, it's different. No, it's, it's different. Nice. It's completely different. That's dope. This is what unboxing is about. It's about discovery. That's dope. You know what I mean? Put those yeah. out there in the summertime, man. They're gonna look just like this a year from now, too. Easily. Bright Hands light. Hands down. Forget about it. Hands down. We good, right? Yeah, man. I think we had a successful uh, yeah, we unboxing had some things today. today. Some great you know rum. Yeah, some That's great some rum. rum. That's a very, very, very good rum. I'm happy to have, um, I'm happy to be, um, to have sips of rum today. It's been a long time since I had some. I was trying to stay away from the sugar situ situation. So um, that was fun. And uh, definitely some dope sneakers here. We got and some as joints always, here. This is like, like he said, a conversation that we would have had if there was no camera. No camera. If we were on the phone, whatever yeah. it is, this is, what, this is what we do. Yeah. So I'm happy to invite y'all in. And um, I think we're good for, the, for now. Yeah, man. All right, man. Good looking out. My guy. See you next time, B. Bang, bang. Don't go out there buying sneakers just so you can do a no no. Go out there and buy sneakers so you can do an unboxing. Ah, Don't man. go too fast. This is my segment, people. <laughs> I don't want you sliding in on that. But I'll take some new colors. <laughs> <Bang, bang. laughs>